So I did a lot of research and come to find out there were ex-bishops of the church, even one apostle left. Um, no matter what you try to say or you try, or to, you try you know, to you know lie, lie and say, say is the reason or oh, what well, I left. Again, all of that in the word of God is still identified as God getting rid of you. Right. When you look at what happened, God Almighty, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ said he is the truth. Mm. So mm. if you leave in the truth, truth, mm. Mm. you leave in God. And he said, he also said that he is the life. So if you leave the truth, truth, then you're leaving life. Right. Which means ultimately that you are guaranteed certain death. Certain death. Certain death. Guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Oh, said so you're gonna be written in the earth. <laughs> you're going back. You're gonna die. You're gonna die for sure. We have brothers and sisters that have passed away. Passed passed away. away. Uh, you know, make it seem like it's not that high of a crime, as if they were freed. And I did the. I made a decision to do this again. God Almighty is so wonderful and so amazing in the way that He operates. Because an example of this in the life of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was that when. There was people that had an issue and there was niggas around <laughs> purposely said things to get them <laughs> niggas out of here. Yeah, that's right. Woo. So now when they make that decision to leave, was it really them? Nope. Nope. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, he is the truth. Mm. So if you the truth, so if you leave in truth, <laughs> We're not speaking and resisting and going against the established order. The truth, the Israelite Church of God and Jesus Christ, is the root. This is where it all started, and that's why you put out. Okay, whether you left or for your own fruition, your own fruition, quote unquote. Which again, I'm being sarcastic, dummies. Own fruition, quote unquote. You idiot. It's not leaving on your own fruition. Things come into fruition. You leave on your own volition, fool. What? What? The official page for the Antichrist unit, part of the ICGJC, the cult, they actually took a four year hiatus only to come back and not address anything that we've ever addressed the issues, the real problems with the doctrine and the actions that were taken by Jermaine Grant, the leader of your cult. When Tazadakia, Jermaine Grant, was the one threatening everybody with death, and he threatened a former apostle over the phone, the three-hour block talk radio show that he held, he told this apostle, Tazak Tazayar, you won't live out your natural life. And, and look who's, who's dead, dead now. now. How's that, asshole? So, so, so. And I messaged my brother to Zach Tazayar, who's alive and well, and this is what he had to say.
you kill me. Guaranteed certain death. Certain death. Certain death. The only thing that's guaranteed in life is death. And that's what all you guys are going to go through. Every single person in the ICGJC will experience death. I can promise you that. Shalama, you fucking cockeyed dancing fool. You talking about death as if it's a negative thing. Well, guess what? In case you didn't realize, your fucking cult leader died. He died just after he called COVID a man-made pestilence. He said it was not from God. Well, the scripture says, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. A weapon is made to kill. So if Tazadak is dead, that weapon prospered. So there's a lot of things you gotta fucking figure out on your own, Shalomar. It seems like you believe death is a negative thing since you're wishing it on us. How come when members of the ICGJC die, it's like a good thing now all of a sudden? Why don't you be consistent with your logic, stupid? Dawa Shalama, you fucking soft, chewy center motherfucker. You are a fucking soft, bitch ass nigga with your sunglasses indoors. Who the fuck do you think you are, nigga? Your fucking sister's dead, you stupid nigga. That elect lady, I borrowed a car, she's dead, nigga. Y'all fucking wishing death on people? Your fucking church members are dropping like flies. Kim Lubrin jumped off a roof. Saint Hood was killed. Mistaken identity. While he was paralyzed, Tazadakia visited him in the hospital and said that he would live. Tazadakia, your leader is dead. Saint Basil is such a fucking idiot. Tazadakia said, this ain't the end. He knew he was going to jail, but he said, this ain't the end because I still got to take you out of Israel. No matter what you see, no matter what the details is of God's will is, and what happens today, understand that that's not the end. Right. 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 Because I gotta lead you to the promise. Right, right, right. 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 Stop, stop, stop. So don't worry about nothing. So the conclusion is y'all going to Israel, no matter what happens in between time and in the meantime. And then what happened? Tazadakia died. Fucking St. Basil goes on Vocab Malone's channel and, and says, obviously, it's common sense if he's supposed to take us to Israel and he passes away and we haven't been, been taken to Israel yet. Common sense tells you that he has to resurrect from the dead. This is where your fucking crazy belief has taken you. This is... <laughs> like, this is stupidity to me. Like, this is stupidity to me. And we have brothers and sisters that have passed away from this virus, this virus that was weaponized against us. Um, Esau is, uh, he engineered uh, different type of diseases as a, and weaponized them um, to uh, uh, destroy his enemies, um, his warfare, um, and uh, the coronavirus is one of those things. Um, um, you don't have to worry about it. And we have brothers and sisters that have passed away from this virus, this virus. You told me that 99.5% um, of the things that we teach in is wrong. Exactly. You know why? Because at that point, I already knew everything. And that's where he received the Holy Spirit. He received the Holy, Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. 99.5% of the things that we teach and is wrong. 99.9% of these niggas are traitors. Traitors, oh yeah, right there, okay. All you guys working with the FBI. They knock on your door. We heard about you, buddy. 
I'm special agent in charge of all of them Judases. Okay, man, we heard that you cooperate. <laughs> we heard about you, but you're not really happy up there now. You know, sometimes we pay people, you know that, right? We pay you. Um, so you gonna cooperate with us, buddy? I don't know about that. I don't know if I can go against my belief. Well, um, you know we got something on you, don't you, buddy? We can make you suffer. <laughs> Damn traitor. Welcome to San Miguel TV. San Miguel TV. The ICGJC's Antichrist unit, they want to constantly call former members traitors, but Nicodemus would have been known as a traitor also to the Pharisees. So sometimes you got to go against the established order, as these guys like to say. You know there's no other place like the Israelite Church of God, Jesus Christ. The question I want to discuss today, sirs, if, if we can get into that, is do they have a chance after turning their back on God? You know, this is an important question. Do they have a chance? What's the chance about? The chance is about making it to the kingdom of heaven, but do they have a chance after they turn their back on God, right? And and this goes right into a, another topic, which we could, we could tackle both of them, which is are they still in the truth, right, Um, once they left? Are they still in the truth once they left God? Yeah. Right. So whichever one of those we're going to tackle and take, we're we, we, we going to do. So in the question, are they still in the truth once they left God? Now, we know that you didn't really leave. You already tackled that and showed you all the scriptures on that, that God put you out. I mean, what kind of stupid question is this in the first place? They're assuming that if you leave a certain location or church, that you have left Jesus Christ. These are not the first cult members to do this way of equating Jesus with a place or a church. This is a common cult tactic used to impose fear on their members if they decide to leave or do anything against the cult. You know, the word there is used to identify people right there. We could joke this guy right here just on that part alone. Okay, you spelled there, T H E R E, okay? Yeah, that's ridiculous. Okay, right. What, what, what you see, <laughs> I know, sir. What's going on? Yeah, Intelligence leaves these people once they leave. Yeah. I'm not crazy. Do y'all understand me? I was taken off of this. I was taken off of this earth. Okay. All right. That's not even a word. Surrounded around angels, my own eyes seen them come out the wall. I seen them come out the wall. Do you understand me? There's nobody on earth right now, nobody that can say that. Nobody heard the voice of the Almighty God as a child and from this forth, forth. There's nobody on earth that can say that. Fuck your man. Then the Most High is not what? If this work is not of the Most High, then it will come to naught. You even got examples in the scripture. Some men rose up, men rose up, but men rose up. Get out, get out, get out. If he's not the Holy Ghost in company, who is? Eight years old and you can't, I ruined your life. Man, with your parents. You're 15 year old minor. Eight years old and you can't, I ruined your life. Man, with your parents. You're 15 year old minor. You don't have any parents that you expected me to be there for every wrong decision that you made in your life. Even though I'm filling a congregation of thousands of people. Especially with minors! 